All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to go over how I went from absolutely hating networking to absolutely loving. So if you guys don't know, uh, my background started back in 2021. That's the year where I started to learn networking, right? And when I first started, my uncle was a network engineer. He was mentoring me. Um, and I was also doing some courses on the side as well. Um, and I, when I was watching these videos and courses, I was just, it was so confusing to me. Uh, what is a router, these switches, these devices, these servers, like, like just the idea of learning this concepts would just very confusing because I've never seen these sort of topics ever discussed anywhere, like back in high school. And then no one would talk about, like I knew programming, I knew code, but like networking was such a weird concept because you don't really see it. And most people actually don't even see networking just in general, um, day to day, because it's, it's usually hidden in server rooms, hidden up in, in back rooms and data centers. You don't actually get to see these equipment. So we just, we just see the result of it, which is, you know, our internet's working, you're watching this video, but there's networking behind the scenes, right? So when I was learning these concepts, it wasn't really making sense, right? So, um, it took me some time to really enjoy it because in the beginning I would just have to push through literally, um, when I open up packet tracer for the first time, I was just like, Phew. when I open up GNS three for the first time, I was like, damn. Like, this is going to be tough. And I stuck with it, right? I, I could have easily said, you know what? You know, this isn't for me. Um, I don't think I can do network engineering. Let me pick a different field. Let me jump ship and go into software or data or cloud, right? Um, but I'm glad I stuck with it because uh, I, I ended up enjoying this field, right? Because um, I, my theory is when I first got started, when things are hard and, and un, uh, like difficult to comprehend, um, in the beginning, you're just going to just have to go through grit. And I know a lot of you guys are in that period where you're just learning the skill, you just started, and you're just like, I don't even know what this is, subnetting, IP addressing, MAC addressing, uh, what the heck is a hub, a switch, a router, a firewall, a server, CAT5, CAT7, OSI model, TCP, like there's, and all these protocols you have to know, it's like, dang, like what, like what is all this stuff, right? And you get to the point where you want to give up. And I know a lot of individuals who they get started into networking. They say, Oh, this seems interesting. They look into it. They look for maybe like a week, two weeks and they say, I'm done. I don't even want to get this. And that's why people think networking is a hard field because in the beginning it's hard to comprehend. Right. And that's kind of why I hated it because I did not want to go into packet tracer because you feel dumb. Like you genuinely feel dumb doing it because Whenever you're new to something, you're not going to understand it. And then if you don't understand it, you're either going to hate it or you're going to be like, hmm, like you can either push through or you can give up, right? Those are the two options, really. Um, and I decided to push through. I kept going. Like I would take breaks sometimes, like deciding whether I should learn it uh, or how I should, you know, continue the process of, of, of learning it. Because at the end of the day, you have to learn to enjoy it at some point, right? And the best way is to lab every single day, right? Um, and if you can lab every single day, right, no matter whether it's easy, whether it's hard, at some point, you're going to get better. And I got better and better and better to the point where I was like, I can open a package tracer and I'm actually excited to do it. Because my theory is, if you for you to enjoy something, you have to get better at it at some point, right? I don't think anyone enjoys being bad at things, right? Like, let's say you started a new sport and you're bad at it. Of course, you're going to hate it. But then once you get better, you get addicted to the progress that you're seeing in yourself. Because when you do more and more of an activity, you get better. And that's where you want to get to. And that's where I eventually got to, to the point where I actually love this field. And you, you, you are eager to learn more. Because I'll be honest, within networking, you're going to have to learn more and more and more. Because it's not a field where... I guess you just learn it and then you, you're all good to go. You always have to be improving your skills because there's always going to be more efficient ways of doing networking activities and you're going to have to learn those ways, right? And there's going to be new protocols that are um, added to um, the networking stack at some point. And those protocols you're going to have to understand. There are maybe some um, different devices you may have to work on. Like there, there, there's, it's always a learning field and that's pretty much how it is with all of tech, but specifically with networking, that's some that's something that you have to hone on hone in on and you just have to love that process because at the end of the day like you can just give up if you want to like at, like i'm pretty sure like a lot of you guys who are studying for ccnas or you're studying for or you're working to, towards um becoming a network engineer there are going to be days where you're just like looking at your computer staring at the screen staring at the cli and it's wondering why am i not able to ping or wondering why am i not able to add this device or 
it, for whatever you're doing, you're going to you're going to be upset that you can't get it to work. Right. And then you could either nag, say, oh, man, this ain't for me. This is too hard. I don't understand it. I'm going to just do data. It seems easier. My friend does it because he because he makes, you know, he's a data engineer. The grass is not greener on, on other sides, guys. Every side has their own nuances. Every side has their own problems. Um, and networking, like I said, is no different. Like it's going to be hard. Right. And if you guys want to get into tech and get into networking, you have to accept that. And if you can accept that, you're going to love the process because if you don't love the process, if you don't love doing what, you know, what networking networking involves, then you might not like the field, but it takes time for you to get to that point. So you have to go through grit, discipline, and just focus as well. Because at the end of the day, if you can focus on exactly what you need to do in terms of looking at the packet tracer labs, building out troubleshooting projects, uh, building out configuration uh, examples, building out methods of procedures, doing these things are going to make you get better. And you may not see the progress within a week or two weeks. It may take months, right? Because even day to day, you're not going to see progress. You're, you're going to be working towards it, but you're not really going to see progress because maybe, you know, it takes time. But after a certain number of days, you get better, you get better and better and better to the point where you're like, man, I know, I, I know exactly what I'm doing now. And that's the point you want to get to at some point. It's the point where you can just, you're so comfortable um, and then you love learning and then you can just keep going and going and going. Because once you get to that point, it's going to be easy for you to, to get better because you actually love what you're doing. And it's not going to feel like work or study. Right? It's not going to be like, oh, I have, to, I have to do some more labs. Like you actually want to do the labs at some point. So uh, if you can get to that point, that's where you can sort of leverage that and improve your skills dramatically. Um, and that's kind of how it is. Because back in 2021, when I was studying, I was just like, I hated it. I genuinely hated networking. Like I did not like it at all. But I, I told myself like, okay, my uncle's showing me how to do it. He's helping me. Let me just follow his guidance. And that's kind of what I did, right? And that's the most important thing is if you can have someone who can guide you and mentor you as well, that's one of the easiest ways to sort of break in. Um, and I offer a mentorship program myself. If you guys are interested, uh, click the link down below. You can schedule a call with me completely free. Um, and we can see if I can help you or not um, with your network engineering journey. But also like if you guys want to actually succeed, you're going to have to grit, grind, hustle. I mean, I, it's, it's that simple. And then at a certain time point, you're going to just, everything's going to click. And then it's just going to get easier and easier and easier, right? So that's pretty much the process of my story of how I went from absolutely hating this field to actually loving it. Because now there's all a lot of perks about being a network engineer. You can go to any environment. If the internet's broken, maybe you could be the person who can fix it, right? Let's say like, oh, with the internet's slow or whatever at someone's house, you can maybe see what the problem is, right? You can test it out for them because, you know, this is a sort of profitable you know, skill to have because people are willing to pay to fix problems. And that's when network engineering can evolve, uh, help you with. So um, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys are not in the process of hating it. If you, if you are stick to it, keep going, it's going to get harder. Uh, but as soon as you keep going, it's going to get easier. It, that's, that's with anything, with anything you learn, you just are, you're just going to have to push through it to the point where you're going to love it. So um, that's kind of the, the process. And uh, but yeah, I want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you guys want to subscribe and see more videos like this, uh, feel free to subscribe. Um, and with that being said, everyone, I really do appreciate you guys' time and peace.